A lot of us have been through this. Acne, it is not pretty, and a lot of people want to cover it up, but there are some drastic steps that a few people are taking. Yeah, plus homeless cats being given some pretty funny profiles to help them get adopted, and instead of a suitcase, why not just put your things inside of a giant jacket? <laughs> These stories and more making the cut this morning with Eden Kendall from 99.9 .9 Gator Country and River City Live. Covering Good your, your guy, covering your acne with freckles? That just doesn't seem yeah, awesome. okay, so, crazy. So, you know, sure enough, there's always somebody who wants what they don't have, right? So there are a couple of things going on with this whole freckle phenomenon. The first thing is it is a tattoo or a microblading of freckles, kind of, it's pretty much permanent. They say semi-permanent, but for me, if it doesn't wash off, it's, it's kind of permanent. And in some cases, it's being used to camouflage acne. So for that reason, I totally get it. And yep. I think freckles are adorable. But then there are others who are just doing it because, hey, it's the sun-kissed freckle look without the damaging UV rays. Now, I did some research, and you have my word on this. I will get right on this. They have stencil temporary freckle kits out there. Really? In interweb land. So I promise you I will order one. It's called Freck Yourself. Freck you know, Yourself. Freck Yourself before huh. you wreck yourself. Okay. And I'm going to get some, and I'll have some freckles for you one of these days in the near future, I promise. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> just make sure that you have the temporary ones. Oh. Uh. And not the permanent one. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be a mistake if I didn't. All right, so I wanted to share these adorable photos of these kitties that are up for adoptions in an LA shelter. There was a comedian that came along and he actually wrote all of the profiles <laughs> and they've gone pretty viral. So since I don't have a screen in front of me to read off of, yes, why don't you introduce us to some will. of these little kitty cats? Uh, this is Dolores. She likes staring out the window. She dislikes the warlock's curse that transformed her into a cat. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, next so up cute. we have Leche. It means milk in Spanish. She likes being social and dislikes the growing wage gap between rich and poor that is slowly resulting in the decline of the middle class. And now we have Lola. She likes sleeping in a sunbeam. Dislikes 15th century feudal Japan. Please do not take Lola back in time to 15th century feudal Japan. She will not be happy. Yeah, so if you have a time machine, she's not your cat. Those are, those are the cute, rest though. Of them, They're getting attention, they, they, right? I, you know, I just think it's great that that um, the middle one's so socially aware. I guess it's Leche. But yeah, uh, absolutely. The, 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 final, the final story making the cut this morning, yeah, it's not a suitcase. It's the airplane jacket. And this jacket is a Kickstarter, and it can hold up to 30 pounds. I did the math. They have it in kilos because it's European. But it's a Kickstarter where you would be able to pack everything, including your laptop, your shoes, everything on you. And I think we're going to see a picture, if we're not already, of the X-ray device yeah. showing us what is actually inside this coat. I'm I, pretty, this is going to get you stuck at TSA every time. I was just going to say the TSA agents are going to. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> not love you for that. <laughs> it's also a terrible idea to carry around 30 extra pounds on you when you're walking through airports. You know, but I do envision yeah. the whole like Mary Poppins thing, pulling out the, oh, let me get you. I have something in my coat. But anyway, so join us on River City Live. We have all kinds of fun stuff planned for you, including a way to camouflage scars, not acne scars, oh. but all scars with tattoos. That's coming up in just a little while. And, and say hello to that gentleman sitting behind you, obviously waiting for his wife to finish shopping. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, I sure will. <laughs> I don't even have a wife, but I feel his pain. All right, thanks, He's Eden. doing the man job. <laughs>